22nd of October, it's Thursday and we are going for a weekday getaway. I have been waiting for almost 20 minutes. These guys are still not here. We were supposed to leave at 3 o'clock. It's 3.30 right now. One eternity later. So, hi guys, we are finally on the road. We have with us our friend Deviraj. So, where are we headed, Ismail? Looking for a good spot where we can spend the night camping in the nature, cross highway. So, guys, we have taken a ride from the highway. We just saw some hills here. Let's see if we find a camping spot there. So we have stopped near the hills over here, you can see. There is a dirt trail going. I think we are going to take that dirt trail and see where it leads us. So here we go. Woo! Calling and we are here, bitches. Oh, yeah, he's here. <laughs> it's just been five minutes of us getting down. <laughs> We've already lost two camera accessories. <laughs> Unloading our bags over here. After an extensive search of the car and all the bags, we found the clamp that we were looking for in Ismail's bag. So nice. thoughtful of him nice. and like uh, such a presence of Not mind like it's very commendable. Not so this this is the hill that we uh, will climb. I think there are some stairs here as per what the locals said. We'll find them and we'll start the climb. So, finally on top of the hill, let's look at the view all around me. Hello people, you can see we have set up our tent right here. Hopefully it won't be blown away like the last time it did in Gokarna. So we are on the hill watching the beautiful sunset and chilling for the evening. We'll be cooking some food soon which hopefully will turn out good because it's the first time we are trying the cooking equipment that we brought. So it's quite peaceful here. There's just a couple of hills. Uh, and nothing else in the area and surprisingly it's just like 25 kilometers away from our hometown Rajkot like we can literally see the skyline in the horizon and it's not even that far so yeah we are glad that we found such a spot so close to our city So it's almost evening now, the sun has set, we are behind our tent, I just uh, boiled some water. So this was our first experience with this stove. I was little scared and skeptical of using it because the gas cylinder is too close to the stove but uh, I boiled the water in about 3 to 5 minutes I think. It worked fine. So it is night time and you can see the Viraj inside the tent chilling. Akshay is playing with a tripod over here. And the city is the city lights are visible in the distance on all four sides. So dinner is being prepared. We have boys patiently waiting over here, clicking pictures of each other. <laughs> So, 
paneer gravy is ready oh it's open already <laughs> He's high already. क्या नाम है तेरा यहाँ कैसा आया वी जस्ट फिनिश आर डिनर एंड वी हैड सम विजिटर्स विथ हस अपली a few towns people who were visiting the temple below just came to inquire and check what we were up to and see what we were doing so late at night because apparently this was the first time someone has come camping at this spot or even to spend a night on the right side of the law uh so they came uh, with uh, a <laughs> axe or a sky thrower or a rod i don't know what to say <laughs> axe okay it was a long axe kind of like a spear <laughs> gun okay yeah <laughs> the stars have come out it's super beautiful right now yeah we are trying some astro photography shots over here Hey everyone so it's the morning after we camped last night you can see the tent behind me so it was a really really crazy sunrise we woke up to really vibrant sky and huge shades of colors all across So we just got done with breakfast and we cleaned our vessels so that we can pack up. Uh one of the things you need to do in camping is obviously clean up after yourself and the vessels and all the things that you use. So we had a lot of visitors, unplanned visitors. So firstly there was a group of locals uh, who came down from they saw our car parked downstairs and they came up to the hill. Two hours later we had another set of flashlights coming all the way from the distance and we saw three or four shepherds coming towards us slowly slowly beaming their flashlights all over. And then we had a surprise visitor. So we were sleeping in our tents it's 12 or 12:15 and we hear like third third and we try to look out of the tent and we don't see anyone so that gets us more on our nose suddenly a cow walks beside our tent <laughs> a cow is just grazing the grass around and we were so relieved so that was really disturbing honestly met a local here he told us there is a small cave over here where there used to be like his ancestors who used to go and meditate so he's taking us to the trail through the trail to that cave so we are going there It's a small opening over here, but it opens up to a 10 by 10 feet room inside. So it's a natural cave in which they have made a little closure over here. He just used to survive on uh, one glass of milk per day. So every day their family used to keep a can of milk over here. He used to take it in and gave an empty can outside. That's what he just explained to us. So he said right now it's not safe to go inside because of the monsoons. There might be snakes and other stuff. So what is this location probably will reveal sometime later yeah akshay is asking for a 10k subscriber and then we'll do a location reveal sell out <laughs> yeah being commented already <laughs> So 
we are back in the city. Drop some comment, share some love, share the video, leave a like if you enjoyed our content. Hey everyone, so if you don't know what Explore the Earth is, now is the time to go and subscribe so you know what we are on to next. We are three friends who create travel content, articles and more such awesome stuff. So go subscribe, press that notification icon so you know what our next adventure is going to be. So first things first, we want to thank our friend Divya Raj for helping us out with the footage and pictures from this trip. Now coming to the location, we want to thank Chirag Parmar from Paramount Tracks who showed us this spot on an earlier visit. Go and check out Paramount Tracks on Instagram. Now we are not revealing the exact location of the place as it is not a tourist spot or the one which has facilities and infrastructure to support a lot of crowds. But in a more general direction, we were somewhere near the village of Tramba on Bhavnagar Highway of Rajkot, approximately about 25 kilometers away from the city. It was just a hill in the middle of nowhere and even you can find such spots near your cities. All you need to do is go off the highways, try new routes, explore some villages and find a spot for yourself. After all, that is the true spirit of enjoying adventures like this one. So go out and start exploring. A few tips if you want to go camping in the open and find spots like this one. Number 1. Forest areas and protected environments do not allow camping unless stated otherwise and you will need permissions from forest as well as local authorities. Number 2. Find places that don't disturb local settlements and make sure you are quite away from the roads. Number 3. Survey the area on Google Earth and satellite view on maps for any fences, settlements or any other features in that area. Number 4. Reach early and scout the location and its safety. Number 5. Interact with locals, break the ice and do let them know about your plans. See if they are friendly and welcoming, otherwise don't take a risk. Number 6. Go in groups of 3 or more and always keep your safety gear with you just in case of any emergencies. Number 7. Private campsites are a much safer option if you can find any. So that's it from this video. We will be releasing new videos on camping setups, gear reviews and lots of vlogs pretty soon. So stay subscribed and hit the bell icon to get the updates. And lastly, do follow us on Instagram and let us know in comments what would you like to see next. So until next time.